something new has been emerging for me. And maybe it has for you too. It's a new, it's a deepening. So I feel more solidly rooted to the earth. I feel a little more um, heavy in weight, um, meaning like just a little more solid and less ephemeral. Um, and that feels good. That feels good. I feel very within myself when I go inside my head. Um, there's like a, a grounding, a grounding. I feel very grounded. <laughs> so grounded and so rooted that I'm unable to make any quick moves. Like I'm in a very pensive, slow thinking state of mind. And that's not typically the way that I exist. I'm usually like a, like a little rabbity, you know, from thing to thing. And there is grace and beauty in the slowness. Um, I also hurt my toe, so that slowed me down too. So like every time I think I'm better and I push it a little bit, the pushing against that ligament shows me that I am not quite there yet and that I need to slow down again. So it is both an emotion and a physical state of being, which says to me that a bigger message is being revealed. A bigger message is in process of being delivered. And I'm usually very impatient for those messages. Um, I start beating down the door. I start, um, overstuffing my schedule or getting too busy. And, and I'm not doing that. I'm not letting myself do that. I'm, I'm making myself be still and I'm making myself be quiet because the things don't really come that naturally to me. I'm also, I guess the thing that comes up for me the most is I'm not looking to share what I'm going through immediately. I'm sharing kind of like the high level with you, but I'm holding a lot of things in counsel. And as someone that's an overshare, I'm that's sure that's shocking for you to hear. Um, that feels good too. The idea where you can share whatever you feel like you need to share, but you can also hold things for yourself. And sometimes the holding is what's necessary. So whether it's an idea, a concept, um, a, a growth thing, you know, something you're going through, there's going to be times where reaching out is actually not the move where the move is reaching in, where the move is sitting with it in, in a solitary way, even if you're surrounded by people. It's letting yourself sit in the experience, especially it's an, if, an, if it's an uncomfortable one, and not asking for help out of reflex or not looking to share out of reflex. I know we don't, many of us do not ask for help enough. So I'm gonna say even more than that, just kind of like venting, uh, hold it. Hold it and see what that brings you. Um, I find sometimes that either it will coalesce into a piece of power and then whatever the idea is, is now amassed in a power will, will break through and give you a clear message. Or you'll see, oh, what you thought was this big thing that needed a lot of concentration isn't really a big deal. And without outside influence or comment, you kind of were like, oh, I'm all right. Like that, that's not the thing. That's not my issue. That's not my, um, that's not really what's coming up for me. So, so that's where I'm sitting at now is sifting through what's real. What's, what do I feel? Cause that's really what it is. And where's it sitting in my body? Those are the questions I ask myself every day. Um, when I'm kind of coming up against something and my body is saying, slow down. Be still. I don't like it, but I'm listening. So that is what has come up for me today. And I guess what I ask you today is, are you someone that tends to hold things too close to the vest and not share? Or are you someone that shares a lot and maybe it would be a good idea to hold some things and just see what it feels like to not kind of um, expand them into the universe, just keep them encapsulated in you. And then the other question I have to follow it up with because this is the body of truth is when you check in with yourself, where do you feel the energy in your body? Does it gather in your heart? Does it gather in your guts? Does it swirl around your brain? Where does your energy go? 
because just the ability to notice that is huge. It's huge. So that is what I challenge to ask you today. And I will see you tomorrow.